Alright, this is Stop Action Agidius, Agidius, Aggie, whatever you want to call me, back. I'm doing another Let's Play because Ghosts and Goblins is proving to be extremely difficult. So this is Cave Story, it's made by Pixel. Should be coming to WeWare pretty soon, May I believe, assuming that they don't stall it again. This follows the story of Quote, Sue, Kazuma, all those good guys. It's actually one of my favorite games. Okay, you just, you don't actually start out with anything. You have no weapon, you can jump. That's your only thing that you can do. Those spikes will kill you in one hit at this point. I'll just explain to you some strategies and some... Oh. Well, strategy, don't get hit. That's a good one. Always follow Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah's words. Excuse me. Just your basic first KV area. That jump can be kind of difficult to make, you have to... There. Alright. You have an air mechanism that'll... You'll die if you run out of air, obviously. Just like any Sonic game. Polar Star, this is our very first weapon. And we're gonna be holding onto it for a while. You can upgrade it if you want to by trading with Curly, who we'll run into later. But... That gunsmith that you just saw, he hasn't quite finished the weapon yet. So, you'll return later on in the game once you get a booster, and you'll be able to upgrade to the spur, which is an extremely good weapon. Alright, this is Cave Story's really weird, really awesome level up system. Enemies drop experience points, which you have to collect, which will upgrade your weapons. If you get hit, you will lose experience. You can get your individual weapons up levels. Level 3 is the top, unless you're using the Nemesis. Alright, now we can get past this area, which was blocked to us because we can blast through it before. Yeah, you'll notice that door is an enemy. It is not safe. This is the only real trap in this. Oh yeah, I just gotta level up. So now we fire two bullets, and they fly farther. Cosma is still trying to find Sue. Cool Cosma. There's Troko trying to protect Sue from King... Alright, now what you have to do, you have to go grab the locket. Alright, now... That sparkling thing down there, press down on top of it, and you find the silver locket. May not seem to have a whole lot of relevance right now, but you'll find out. And there's Shiroko, she's been looking for the locket. Alright, there's a health capsule that... oh, wait. forgot about that. <sighs> kind of a tricky little jump there-ish. Not really, but if you go too fast, you'll jump over it. Anyways, so now we're gonna go to the farm. There... what's it called again? The, yeah, yeah, the Yamashita farm. That character has absolutely no relevance to anything. And there's your next life capsule. I think that by the end you'll have something like 59 or 60 HP. Alright. And the save. So there are some really conveniently located save points around this game. This will restore your health and your missiles when you actually have missiles. Sure. 
Oh, right, need to go actually rescue Taroko. Yes, rescue. She finds you end up in this old shack. She attacks you aimlessly. She dies to one hit. Or doesn't die, but gets knocked out. Alright, first real battle coming up. Huzzah! Nose, and dare I say, the brain as well. You'll be running into these guys a lot during the game. Alright, there's a little blooper in here, or not a blooper, but easter egg. So what's your deal? You gonna fight me with that thing? You can select yes or no? We're gonna do yes, just because. If you say no, he actually will run away and leave you to be. Yeah, you get some quick experience from fighting Balrog. Five whole experience points. Not really much, but at this point, you know. Alright. Now we have to go to the graveyard. Because Kuroko has been kidnapped. Alright, gonna check the time really quickly. So, be right back. Okay, so we're at about seven minutes. We're good. Let me move the mouse. There you go. can't quite remember this guy's name, but he's guarding the graveyard right now. Jack, that's right. Yeah, and if you tried to talk to him beforehand, he wouldn't let you in. But now we can go inside the graveyard. We'll be returning here twice during my Let's Play. I don't know what mushrooms have to do with relevance to a graveyard, but whatever. Alright, you may notice a little... There we go. You see that motion down there? That's actually a guy that you can talk to. It's... Really... <laughs> I'm not sure how you would be expected to notice him, but if you do, we'll come back and get to the Nemesis, which I mentioned earlier, after we talk to his wife. That'll be towards the end of my last play, though, so... And that was Arthur's grave. Where a better place to hide Arthur's key? Alright, over here, you can't get to it yet if you have the machine gun or the booster. That's Ma Pignon's lair. You'll be fighting him or her, I'm not sure. I'm gonna say that it's... No, I'm not gonna make a... Yeah, whatever. Anyways, now that we have Arthur's key, we can get into Arthur's house. Makes sense. Another save point. Alright, here's something if you notice, some red flowers down here. Those red flowers will become extremely important. Well, not those red flowers, but the red flowers in general. And now we're going to the egg corridor. Only place that we can go right now. Alright, so let's grab this really quickly. Yeah. Basil down there, that's his name as you'll find out once you beat the game. He kills you in one hit no matter how much health you have. Don't even bother messing with Basil. Don't mess with Basil. Yeah, this is experience heaven at this point of the game. These guys die as long as you have any sort of trigger finger and you'll quickly get your Polar Star to level 3. Just pretty straightforward right now. And there's Sue. 
she's being attacked by one of the possessed Mamigas. No, well, not possessed, but don't remember those red flowers? That's what happens if you give an Amiga a red flower. Alright. Gonna make a brief pit stop in Cthulhu's abode. And I think that's enough for this video. So, I'll come back, probably beat the egg quarter, maybe get to Grass Town, and maybe grab the first of the two hidden items. So, get back here then.